Hello and welcome to our video on configuration options with key clock presented by Mohammad Niaz from IT Pro Guide. In this session, we will explore the various configuration options available key clock. There are three options available. We can configure the parameters like a database SSL certificate in the command line like we were doing in the production and development mode this is one option second one as a variable format or you can configure it in a file called the key clock configuration file so let's learn one by one the command line parameter as we did in a three four videos you don't need a, an explanation but you can look at the format here it start with a two hyphen then you tell the key with the dashes so it's a URL or username or password, HTTPS port, whatever it is. Then you provide the value. That is how the command line parameters works. So that is how we configured the database, the SSL certificate, the host name, everything so far. Then environment variable format is the other option to set up the configuration parameters. When you set an environment variable in the format kc underscore key with underscores is equal to value a simple example is given below for the database url you run export then kc kc is the namespace that prefix is the namespace for key clock then db url host then uh, you set the value so here you are setting the database url via an environment variable so this is another option to configure uh, other than the command line parameter you can also use this kind of formats uh, to configure key clock the other one is the file format so configuration like ssl certificate or database we configured using the command line parameter in the last couple of videos but instead of doing this all the time in the command line you can add these to the configuration file so that you just need to run kc.sh start as all the configuration will be picked up from the configuration file. The file name is keyclock.conf which resides in the configuration folder. So let's navigate to the configuration folder. Then you can see keyclock.conf. So keyclock.conf you open with the necessary permission. There is nothing configured at the moment. We were using the command line parameter, but you can see all the placeholders are there for database, for HTTP certificate and other things. So let's enable one by one and add our values. The configuration file also I attached in the resource folder of the course. So you can uh, refer that also. So here uh, we are using the P12 format so that there is some changes in the value. So we're going to say that HTTP key store file, then key store password. Then uh, we also need to tell the type of key store. Then we provide the host name. So we are done. We can just save the file. Then we can start our key clock in production mode. So here we're gonna go back to the bin folder where our sh file is there then we're gonna run kc.sh then start so we get some errors when we start this time and let's see what error it is coming so the startup was not uh, successful and if you look at the reason, you can see that uh, the username, uh, password authentication failed for the key clock underscore user. So let's go back to the configuration file and check what is the password that we have given for this user in the configuration file. So the file resides in the config folder. So let's provide the directory also and i forgot to enter the password so that default placeholder password is there so i change the password to the password of that user then let's try to start it again and this time it's gonna start without any error It seems the start is successful. 
So let's check the service from the browser. So I'm going to enter the keyclock.local and you can see that it is coming. So that is done. So let's summarize what we have learned in this video. We went through different configuration options in keyclock. So all the time we were using the command line parameter. And we also learned how to use the environment variable and also we uh, saw how to configure it through the configuration file. So that's it. See you in the next video.